Hi guys, welcome to my uh, informed Dejan Damjanovic review. A little story about him before we start. He uh, seems to be one of the football's nice guys. Uh, I think some guy on Twitter said to him he, he went, he come from Australia or something over to uh, Seoul. And uh, he wanted a, a shirt and he did, they didn't have any. The club shop wasn't open or something. So Dejan found out about it, like he read the tweet and emailed the guy a picture of a signed shirt, I think, or something like that, or, or sent him a shirt himself. Or so. You don't hear about that very often. Right, I love this guy, he's amazing. <coughs> um, I think on FIFA 12 he was, um, correct me if I'm wrong, he was a uh, silver. I'd used him in the team and he was just finessing everywhere and then I think he got an upgrade up to gold, so... He's someone I've followed from like FIFA 12 days, maybe before if he was on it, but they all seem to kill him each year on his base card. Uh, but yeah, he had team of the season last year. I mean, some of his stats, 95 finishing, 86 strength. I didn't play many games with this guy because I didn't need to. I picked him up for about 11k and he was pretty much... You could save 11k, you wouldn't expect much, but knowing what he's been like in previous games, I've played with him a lot and damn, he's, he's such a good player, he's such a good player. I mean, the 70th pace is, is very manageable, I didn't really struggle with it, only unless you were doing a through ball to him, but he's, he was quite strong, you know, he got pushed off the ball a few times, I mean, but you know, if someone's pulling him back with more strength than he's got, you know, he's going to struggle, but... Uh, 78 ball control, 75 dribble. I, I didn't notice, I didn't struggle that much with the dribbling. Um, I was able to turn, it wasn't like turning tank, like, you know, the type you turn with Dost or stuff like that. And, like, oh, just, he was a good player for turning the ball and, you know, perfect work rates, low, high. I mentioned in the other video, like, uh, Dominguez didn't have them work rates, but he was on the shoulder of the defender, pretty much like Damjanovic. It wasn't because he was strong, he was able to hold him off and turn quite a few, you know, and he was standing. But yeah, this is God. I couldn't believe his finishing. I mean, I was hitting him. I was thinking, that's not going in. But more often than not, it went in. I mean, I think I scored six goals in one game. I played four and scored about fourteen or no, four and six, uh, sixteen goals in four games. I only played four of them. I, like I said, I didn't need to do any more to make the review. Um, quite agile, probably why he was good at turning players. If he, you know, if he had the chance. Like I say, his eighty-one positioning probably meant there's another reason why he was on the shoulder of the defender, ready to go. But yeah, his heading accuracy, he's got 86, um, yeah, it's, uh, he was good at heading, you know, his 80 jumping, I think he's 6 foot plus. Uh, I, said, I just love this guy, I was looking for the third person to review for my channel and i seen he had an inform and I was like, yeah, I've got to try this guy again because I think he's going out of packs too because I think he's uh, moved clubs, maybe moved to somewhere else in that league, I'm not too sure, but I think he's going to, oh, he won't be out of packs if he's moving there, will he, but I know he's, he's transferred, I think. 80 volleys, 86 long shots. <laughs> I did a few long shots. I wouldn't say he scored many, but I didn't notice it. But you're more likely to finish him with a 95 finish and he's got. I mean, trouble is I had trouble building a hybrid round him. I think in the end I used a 4-5-1 with uh, Jovetic and Vucinic and then just made a different team. But the team was pretty good. Off the wings. <coughs> he's a, it's tricky I'm picking the right one for a lone striker, but he was good for me. But yeah, um, he's the one, obviously it looks different when I'm looking at it now, but in the Foothead page, but EA messed up with his cards, so he's got like the white background with it or something, the typical. But all in all, I think I'd give him, I'd say an 8, I'm trying to be unbiased, I'd give him a 10, because I, I love the guy, he's great. But um, only thing I found that let him down is, you know, maybe if you're trying to through ball it to him, and he's not going to get it very often, it depends who, who you're playing. I mean, if you're lucky enough to get a break, you don't, you're don't. you not going to be he's not going to be shrugged off the ball very often um, and that's the only bad thing I can think about really is, is his pace but it, you know I didn't struggle with it crossing it was usually a goal and he was good if your players were back and he was up on his own he was able to get through the defence and smash it in for a goal and he was a really good player so that's a score I give him out of 10 I mean I'd recommend picking him up because it's it's not it's not that difficult to build a hybrid around him but the best is a 4-5-1 unless you want the Korean team. That's, that's pretty much it for this review. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks. Bye.